Now in this video we're going to talk about the vehicle setup. Vehicle setup, sorry. Um, okay, the first thing we have to do as usually is to make a read to uh, read the values on the controller. Okay, uh, the first values that we can see here that are that, are that slightly faded uh, are stock uh, values that come from the from the manufacturer, just yes, the kind of uh, controller and some other like serial number, software version, etc. Okay, and the first values we can uh, check out is the uh, voltage battery voltage values. Okay, we have a low value and a over value, top value. Okay, we have uh, if the battery voltage is under this value, it, the system will not work, or if the ba battery um, voltage value is over this value, it, the system will not work either. Okay, so you have just to uh, put here the values for your battery. Usually you put the a bit lower uh, voltage than the minimum of the battery and here you put a little bit over the uh, battery value. But it's up to your, your battery and your considerations in order how you want to, to protect your, your battery. Okay, the next value we can uh, work on is the uh, current percent, okay? This first one, it refers to the peak uh, power value. How many amps we want to throw to the, to the motor in the peak value, okay? This is a percentage. That means that if this, the controller, for example, this one, the maximum peak value is 150 amps. So if we put here 100%, that means that 150 um, 50 amps will go through to the, to the motor. If we put it 50, it will be reduced to the half of the maximum peak power, which will be 75 in this case. Okay, so you have to set it up here, up to your uh, motor maximum values, etc. Okay, so that it all depends on your system. The next value is the battery limit, which means it's the maximum um, current, continuous current. Okay, again, now uh, you have to set it up to your to your setup. Uh, the limit is going to be probably your battery. If the battery is only able to give up to 50 amps, then you have to, to reduce it here to the appropriate value. It, again, it's a percentage. In this case, this um, controller can go up to 80 amps. So if we put here uh, 50, it will be 50%, will be only 40 amps. So it will depend on your motor and your battery. Okay, identification angle is something that we did before. Okay, and we set up the next one. Next values are for the uh, throttle, uh, for the throttle. Okay, we set it up before here, the kind of throttle that we have uh, here, the type of throttle. Now I have installed a house sensor throttle, so I have to put here two, okay? And this value here, it's, um, Depending on the voltage that the uh, that the sensor is giving to the system, uh, it will give an error if the uh, value of the voltage is uh, under uh, a, a certain limit. Okay, in this case, I put zero, which is the most uh, normal normal value. Okay, if, if we receive uh, zero volts, uh, it will not give an, an error because that's possible, okay? And the highest value, okay? Usually the maximum uh, voltage that the sensors or the, or the potentiometer give to the system is around 4.2 or 4.5 volts. So 95% is a, it's a good thing. It's good not to put here 100% because for example, if the potentiometer is a short circuit, then, um, then it will detect an error and will say that the throttle is faulty, okay? So keep in mind that you can put here as like zero, okay, it's okay, and here 95, it's, it's something like reasonable. Okay, uh, this is the type of uh, throttle, okay, and here we go to uh, a next step. This is where the throttle uh, is on zero. That means uh, the throttle gives a zero um, a speed to the motor. Okay, usually um, by default is set to 20, but in my case, I had to increase it to 22 because when the throttle was at zero position, the motor was trying to start very slightly, but enough to be noticeable. So I just increased it a, a 2% and that was enough to set up the zero point of the throttle a bit higher. Again, you can set up the same for the maximum point, which is uh, in this case, 95 is quite reasonable. Okay, where that means where it's gonna reach the, the top speed on the, on the throttle. Okay. The next value is the uh, throttle mapping curve. Okay, you can slightly change the throttle curve uh, for, your, for, your, for your system. Okay, 
here you can you can do it if you put here a value of 50 percent that that means that you will have a more or less linear um, throttle curve that means that when the throttle is at 50 percent of its uh, of its path it will be at 50 percent of speed uh, so if you put it a bit higher than 50 percent then when the throttle is at, uh, at that point at the middle point it will be the speed will be higher and if you put a lower value here then the throttle curve will be a bit more exponential. So when you are at 50% uh, of the path of the throttle, the speed will be lower than, than the 50% of the total speed of the motor. Okay, uh, you can change the, this kind of curve here in this, in, in this value and for the forward uh, gear and here for the reverse gear. Okay. Uh, I like usually a bit exponential curves, so that's why I put a lower value uh, for the for for from 50%. So I, want, I got a little exponential curve, and the, and the same for the for the reverse. Okay. The next setup is the brake type, the same as we put here for the uh, type of uh, of uh, throttle. We have to put the, the same for the brake kind of that we have. You're going to use a regenerative uh, braking, analog regenerative braking, then we can put here, well, zero for uh, no, no, no uh, throttle for the, for the braking, and one if it's a potentiometer, and two if it's a half sensor uh, type of uh, braking device, okay? Uh, again, we can set up uh, what is the low point of uh, starting the braking and the high point of the of the braking. This is for if we use a, an analog braking system. Okay, maximum frequency we already talked about it, and we go to the maximum speed. Here you can uh, set up a limit for your for for the speed of your of your vehicle. Okay. Uh, if your setup or system uh, needs a top, you know, you need to limit your top speed or you need to to limit because of mechanical reasons or legal reasons, you can change it here. As uh, when you put here a maximum uh, revolutions per minute, you will limit the motor speed to that revolutions per minute. Okay. Uh, this uh, controller can go up to 15,000 uh, revolutions per minute, but you can get uh, controllers with higher speeds. Uh, but you have to order them to to Kelly controllers to make to send you a modified unit to achieve uh, higher speeds. Okay, I set it up to four thousand because my motor can go up to around uh, seven hundred uh, revolutions per minute, so four thousand is more than more than enough. Okay, now the next one it's the maximum forward speed. Okay, you can if your motor can like in my case can reach uh, seven hundred um, revolutions per minute. I can modify it here how much of that I want for um, forward speed and reverse speed on the on the max speed uh, option. Okay, so it is a percentage. So I put here a one, obviously 100% on forward speed and a 35% on reverse speed. Okay, now there is a function that uh, you have in this controller, which is here the three speed. Okay, three speed that you mean that you can have a switch with three positions. Or two positions, okay. If you have a three uh, switch with three positions, you can choose between high, medium, and low speed. Or a two position system, you can choose between high and low speed. Okay. So now you can, if you put, if you use a three speed uh, switch, then you can choose here which value are gonna have those uh, speeds, okay? I just put it here, for example, the, obviously the top speed will be 100%, the mid speed will be 75%, and the low speed will be 50%. And I let the reverse speed 35% on any of the, of the positions of the switch, okay? Uh, so you can have something like a three, three speed uh, vehicle, you know, that you can change just with a, with a switch. The next value is the uh, modulation, uh, control that we already talked about. Okay, so the next values are the ones in this column. The first one here, it's the, um, okay, this function, what it does is if we start the controller and the uh, throttle is by, it is faulty or it is in somehow uh, activated, what it will do is it will detect it and will invalid the uh, throttle uh, signal until we don't put it back into zero. 
uh, it is a very it is very interesting to have it activated as it's a safety feature. We do not want to start uh, the controller and the vehicle to run away because by some reason the 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 throttle is activated. Okay, so this is a safety issue safety feature and usually it's good to have it activated but it may depends on your kind of vehicle and what are you you want to try to achieve okay the next function is the same as the before but for the brake if you have uh, activated the brake and when you release it it will detect if the throttle is again activated if it's activated then the motor will not uh, will not work okay usually this uh, function is disactivated but it may depends on your case if you want to activate it or not the next one is the same as the two before, but if you are using what is called a three gear switch, if you are using a switch to switch from uh, neutral to forward or neutral to reverse, then it will detect uh, when you switch from neutral to forward or reverse if the throttle is activated. And obviously it will void the uh, signal from the throttle if you, if you change and it's activated. Okay. So that, uh, again, if up to you if you need to activate it or not. The next one is a uh, joystick function. If you want to use a joystick uh, instead of a normal throttle and brake uh, throttle, then uh, you can use a joystick that can be used uh, for uh, different functions like um, going forward and reverse or going forward and braking on, on reverse, okay? And the next one is the three gear switch. Like I said before, if you want to use uh, three gear switch, you know, uh, forward, neutral and reverse. Okay, here's where you can activate it. Uh, note that uh, if you use the three gear switch, you cannot use the three speed function and vice versa. If you use the three speed function, you cannot use the three gear switch. Okay, the next uh, value is boost. Okay, this is um, a function where you can use a switch to uh, instantly go from uh, uh, any position from the from the throttle to top speed okay um, it's like a turbo turbo boost uh, switch okay uh, i think it could be useful for example if you are using the three speed um, the three speed option you just uh, for example if you are driving on low speed for a while but you need a boost uh, instantly and you don't want to change gear you just uh, install this uh, just a switch where you can boost and for example overtake a vehicle okay and use this uh, button for for doing that function okay the next uh, parameter is the foot switch okay this is uh, what is sometimes called dead man switch okay this is a safety feature quite interesting that you can use it for many things for example if you are uh, using the motor in a in a motorcycle and you have a, a feed for the motorcycle if the if the feed is not uh, retrieved from the from the floor and the switch is not disactivated then the the system will not work as well for example if you have a, a charging port and you want uh, you, you install a switch there and if you do not disconnect the charging lead from the vehicle the vehicle may not start uh, you can use it as well for example um, for in if someone is not uh, seated on the on the on the driving position and is the, the the switch is not disactivated then the vehicle will not will not work as well you know so it can be used a uh, very very useful for safety features you know even you can make um, a connection in series or all of all of those switches and you can you know for example if the uh, charging lead is not unplugged and if the uh, feed from the from the floor is not disactivated or people is not sitting you know you can you can use it for for many things it's just a safety feature that is very very interesting uh, the next value it's the crease okay um, this uh, controller have a crease function that it's uh, it works very simple uh, up <clears throat> when you are uh, driving uh, and a speed over uh, over a certain point, usually it's around 400 revolutions per minute. If you let the throttle at a certain speed for more than three seconds, it will engage a cruise speed. Okay, and as soon as you um, activate the brakes or reactivate the uh, the throttle, the cruise function will be disactivated. Okay. 
Next uh, function is anti sleep. Okay, what this does, it's uh, an aid for um, when you are trying to start in a climb. Okay, it will uh, retain the vehicle if uh, if it starts to move after a zero a zero velocity position. Okay, so uh, it's just a help for starting on, on on hills or things like that. Okay, and you can activate it or disactivate it. Okay, and the last one is change direction. Okay, after doing the identification angle that we did in the on the last video, here is where you change direction. If your motor is turning uh, in the way that it's not supposed to, so forward is reverse and reverse is forward, here you can just change it. You just click on this and change it. All of these parameters, uh, when you have set them all, you just click on right and uh, the controller will take them and <clears throat> will start to work as soon as you've reconnected it again. So hope you like it and the next video will be about the control functions.